last season, Walter Bowie Gregson shocked the entire Jet Racing universe by coming out of retirement and advanced to his 2016 World Championship title with all his spirit from his Springfield fans. Now, as he begins his quest for repeat, what lies for the future of Rover and his charming fans? The answer is to come as we present Week 1's action here in the new season of Jet Racing 2016 from New York City. And here to begin our new season for final surprises is your host of Jam Racing 2016, Mr. Brandon Shannings! Hey, hello New York City! Are you ready to start a new season? Yes, we are! This is getting a lot of fun! This is going to be great! Well, hello to your fans at home! Welcome to the new season of Channel Racing 2016 with Week 1's action here in New York City. Well, as we begin our 62nd year of Spider-Man Surprises, we'll be sure that this season will match last season's incredible efforts to win all for our 48 superstars, which will include some new faces, as you all know. Right now, Paul Sakamoto is going to tell us all about the first race. Paul, who do we have for our first race? Okay, but then we're starting off the new season with former champion Jason Hill, who won back-to-back -back titles in 2014 and 2015, along with Big Cherry Tommy Days, who won the 2015 Tag Team Championship with Kenny Days, along with Chris Nelson, he's back for another season, and Frank Furnataro who is one of the top contenders of this of this season and as always these races will be held on the ammo course alright let's find out who will win the opening race of the new season of Jow Racing 2016 let's have a Jow Race alright and it looks like Tommy Day is going to rest that means Frank von Otto will have the upper hand of the two fastest Jow but how long will this week will last? We'll find out soon enough. There he goes. Right now he has an easy advantage over the other free job at the current moment. He's taking the bridges. He should have a fine ring right now. But here comes Tommy Nates. He's rapidly catching up to him. As the first superstar against Beamers on the new season of Jow Racing 2016 is number 8. And oh, he went a little far too far. He's about to drop in the water. Anyway, number 7 is getting left behind, and he's going to take the water along with number 8. At speed bus number 2 of the opening race, we be made by Jason Hill, who was a two-time world champion in 2014 and 2015. By now, Tommy Days is leading over Frank Fernando in the battle of, the, of two of the fastest child this season. They're both heading towards the bridges, as number 8 takes the next command speed bus. That's his second speed bus out of the race. Killing trying to lead over the force to a chow. By now number seven's getting left behind and number one pause for one. So now he's gonna join number seven for dear life. Both of them are battling for dear life. Which one of them will get the next command speed bus? It's number seven, that's who. So he will be number one in dead media. Meanwhile back up in fun, Tommy Nays has a commanding lead over Frank for an Antaro at the combo it and yes, we should top of the wall. I don't think Frank Von Antal won't have enough distance to catch up to him in time. As Jason Hill gets to number 10, that's his second speed bus on the base, and down he goes. That's going to cause some serious damage. Well, anyway, numbers 1 and 2 fighting for the lead over the 4 Silver Chow. And number 1 takes the speed bus, down goes number 2. That's going to cause some serious damage. So now, number 1 will have come in of the lead over the 4 Silver Chow. And number 8 is getting left behind. As Jason Hill takes speed bus number 3, Tommy Days wins the opening race of the season, beating out Frank Von Antaro by a short distance. A good start for a Big Jerry Tommy Days. He's won half the 2017 title at the end of the season. We won't find out soon enough. As the next speed bus will be made by number 8, who's trying to catch up with power, that's his best speed bus of the base. Right now, numbers 1 and Jason Hill are battling for 5th place. I think number one's gonna win the battle for four plays, don't you think? As number eight is about to close out the opening race with back-to-back -back speed bus, and that's gonna do it. Which means you have a total of four speed bus 
for the opening race of Channel Racing 2016, and Tommy Days as the first W on his car for this game. Great job, Tommy Days. Don't touch it now, we'll be right back with the best of the opening week after this. Alright, welcome back to our opening week's action here in New York City. Paul, who do we have next? Race number two will feature Larry Monroe entering his sophomore professional season, along with the license to drive, Alvin Heaton, Bobby K, the Bobby Mater, and Steven Robinson. Alright, good luck to these four players on the quest for victory, and please start the base! Here we go! Right now, Alvin Heaton starting this one off, he's leaning over the 8 child at the current moment. There's always 4 child rank, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 4 civil child, ranking up 1, 2, 7, and 8. Right now, it looks like Alvin Heaton is off and running. He has to lead over the 8 child at the current moment. Can he hold on to the lead? We'll find out soon enough. As number 8 takes the opening toss for a second race in a row. Wow, two for two for the opening toss for number eight for our opening week's action here on Channel Racing 2016. And number two was going to mess, so he will have a lot of catching up to do after his snap. As number seven wins speed versus number two of this race, currently battling with Bobby K for two. I bad. Whoa! Steven Robinson has took a shortcut over number two. Right now, Steven Robinson has to lead over number two. As the next people we may buy, Larry Momo, he was so close to making the playoffs last year. Now he's trying to reach the playoffs the second time around. But he's going to have a lot of catching up to do if he wants to stay alive. As number 8, we'll have the next command speed best as we pass the 1 minute mark. He's trying to catch up to the other silver child in a hurry. Meanwhile, Alvin is doing A-OK -okay in third place. And number 7 will get a number 10. <coughs> Right now, he is catching up to number one in a hurry. Right now, Steven Robinson trying to hold on. Number two for the victory. I think he should have an easy victory, no matter if he beats number two or not. Anyway, next for us belongs to Larry Marmo, who is fighting number seven for fifth place on the pack. And down goes number eight. That's going to cost us serious damage. I don't think he'll get any speed us now at that. And I'm in here with another command now. That's the second speed bonus on the race. And back up in front, it looks like Steven Robinson should easily hold off number two and Alvin here in for the victory. Yep, he should have a great start to his 2016 season. As Bobby K, the Bobby Mima takes the next speed bus, Steven Robinson is going to finish this race. Steven Robinson wins this race. A good start for his 2016 season. You want to challenge in 2016? As Bobby K, the famous Bobby Mima, Gets back to back speed bus, and we have just enough time for one more speed bus on this race, and it will be made by Larry Momo. A little disappointed there, he won him in fifth place. So it is Steven Robinson who got the victory. That's right, congratulations to Steven Robinson, and we'll be right back with the best of our opening week's action after we find out about this. Alright, Paul, we have four new competitors ready to go in this next race, so tell us all about it. Well, race number three, we have Corey Sanchester, John Miller, Chris Venacos, and the 2014 Rising Stars champion, Steve Laymore. So, on behalf of everyone here on Channel Racing 2016, welcome to our new competitors. And I know we got a couple more competitors who are new to this year, that's coming up later on. But right now, let's see who's going to win this race. Good luck to these four new competitors. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock. And let's rock this place! Alright, here they come. Besting down the line. And it looks like Steven Waymore is going to rest. That means Corey, John, and Chris will have the opening edge. But Steve Waymore is a very fast runner. I think this is a Cinderella season for Steve Waymore. Well, anyway, there goes John Miller and Chris Monacos. These two child will be battling for the lead over the four child in the current moment. Looks like both of them are going to take the bridges. As Steve Waymore, the speed number demon, gets the opening toss. 
And he's flying down the aisle. He was going to mess, but I think he got the lead. And number two is way beyond the crowd, and he's going to mess. As Chris Monacos takes the next command of speed bus, that's speed bus number two. Easy second place. Right now, it is Stealing Moore, the 2014 Rising Stars champion, who has an easy victory right now. As we head back into Chris Monacos, who continues to dominate over second place on the best of the Right now, it is Corey Sanchez and John Miller, who are battling for better place. And they're uh, both going to rest. Which one will we get in the next few minutes? As we pass the one minute mark, it is Corey Sanchester. So he will have fair place over number one and John Miller. Meanwhile, these two child are getting left behind. Numbers two and eight both really need a speed bus. And I mean now. But it's back to Corey Sanchester we go. Continuing to dominate over fair place right now. And back up in front, Steve Waymore is leaving the competition in the dust. I don't think anyone can catch up to them every now and then. Next we was Bronx to number two, who is number eight in Denmin here. I don't think number eight will get any speed bumps every now and then, don't you think? And down he goes. That's what costs him six damage. And John Mill will have the next command of speed bus, battling with Chris Fernandez for the lead. I mean second place. The battling for second place. Who will get the next speed bus? It's Chris Fernandez. But I think he went a little too far that time. B very disappointing. And Steve Moore made this race look nice and easy. He gets the best win of his best professional season. As number seven will have to wind up with the last speed bus of the race, I think. Yep, that should do it. Anyway, number eight can just say forget about it. I believe it. And that's going to do it for this race. So congratulations to Steve Moore on his first win of his debut season. That's why, right, and we are back for more. Do not go away. All right, we're having a great time here in New York City. So who do we have next, Paul? Race number four, we'll have Zach Aronson, who is back with us for a while, along with top contender Christopher Walker. Michael Garcia and Barry McKenna. All right, so Christopher Walker seems like he is one of the top competitors for the 2017 title. But will we get the victory tonight, or will we see an upset? We're about to find out right now. Please start the race. All right, there goes Christopher Walker busting down the line. He is leaving the other competitors in the dust. Can anybody catch up? To Christopher Walker and get an upset? We'll find out soon enough. And there goes Christopher Walker busting down the line. He has an easy lead over the channel right now. Can anybody catch up to him? We'll find out soon enough. As the first superstar against Beepus is Michael Garcia, one of the new competitors for Chow Racing 2016. And numbers 1 and 8 are going to mess. So these two Chow are going to be left behind for survival. And it looks like number 8 is heading for the water. As Michael Garcia wins back to back speedbus to start off the race. And he moves up a place. And uh oh, Zach Allison has took a shortcut. We might see an upset here. He's leaning over Christopher Walker right now. As we head back into Michael Garcia. That's three in a row to start the race for Michael Garcia. And right now, numbers one and two are both getting left behind. We passed the one minute mark, and things are getting great here. And it was like number seven parts from one. As he will have the next command speed bus. Oh, he almost fell off course. What a one, what a did it one time, and he pay, and he paid the price. But I'm glad he didn't do that that time. Anyway, back up in front, Zach Olsen trying to hold on Chris Morocco for an upset. As number eight. Gets the next command as we was catching up to Michael Garcia for fourth place. And right now, now it's two and seven are both battling for a dear life. And it looks like someone is bossing. As the next person we may buy, the one who was in the lead over the course of a chow. And now he is in fourth place. And back in front, I don't think Christopher Parker will get the lead back from Zach Austin. We're going to see an upset here, folks. As Barry McKenna takes the next command speed bus. Zach Olsen upsets Christopher Walker by a landslide. 
What a deal by Zach Arnson. He starts to win with an upset over Chris Pavalka. What a deal. And Michael Garcia will have the next command speed us. I think it's going to ride on four points. Right now, number seven won't be able to, get, to stay alive in the pack. As Barry McKenna is expected to close out the speed of the race, and he'll wind up in third place. So, Zach Arson has upset Christopher Walker. He got upset, Honks. First upset of 2016. Yeah, great job. Wow, that was exciting, huh, Paul? Yeah. Well, anyway, coming up, we have Eric Cross being ready to go, but first, have a look at this. Alright, welcome back from our commercial break. Who do we have next, Paul? Race number five will feature Eric Crosby, Glenn Murray, Adrian Rogetta, and the computer wizard, Peter Foles. Alright, welcome to our new competitors, Glenn, Adrian, and Peter, and good luck to all four members on the quest for victory. Everyone is on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Alright, here they come, busting down the rainbow path. And they're heading towards the first obstacle of the course, and that's the fall race where they bring down that coconut chief room, and then they're gonna either dance or move on. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the food, shaking down like crazy. And now they're gonna eat the food, and there goes Peter Falls and Adrian Oja, and Graham Murray all mostly right on his tail. As Graham Murray wins the winning toss for this race, one of our new competitors for Child Racing 2016, and he and Adrian are flying down the water. Right now, number seven is getting left behind the crowd, as p number two will be made by Eric Crosby, who really wants another chance to become world champion or even tag team champion. He won number fourth place in the tag team competition last season. Anyway, Glenn, Adrian, and Peter are all battling for the lead. Looks like Glenn Murray has the lead in covering as the next person we may buy, number seven, who is number one in the dust. And now we're approaching the one minute mark. Number one really needs some help, and I mean now. But who really got the next command speed was? It's number two. And he's going to move over place because number eight talks for one. Meanwhile, Glenn Murray is trying to hold off Adrian and John and Peter Falls for the victory. Can he get the win? We'll find out soon enough. Back to number two. He continues to dominate four place over the other three silver chow and Eric Crosby. Kind of very interesting. Anyway, number one continues to sing the last place blues. But who really got the next command? It's number eight. That's Sue. Going tail game number two for four place. Right now, Eric Crosby won't be able to get a speed bus in time. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, that's always the best this season, as the next speed bus will be made by Graham Murray, as he, Adrian, and Peter are all heading for the home stretch. Right now, free switch are flying down the aisles, and it looks like Peter's going to have the upper hand here, as number one takes the next bank command speed bus. It looks like Peter Falls is going to hold off Glenn and Adrian for the victory. The computer wizard Peter Falls has done it. He beats Glenn Murray and Adrian on jail for the victory. And we have just enough time for one more speed of the race. It will be made by Eric Crosby. So the P computer wizard Peter Falls got the victory. Congratulations to him on a job well done. And we'll be right back to wrap up the first half after the break. Alright, we'll be halfway done with opening week for Jam Racing 2016 after race number 6. And Paul's going to tell us all about it. Take it away. Alright, race number 6 will feature the Jersey Devil John Stevenson, along with new competitors Thomas Linklater, returning participant Fred Harrison, and Charles Sung Watson. So we welcome back Fred Harrison with Jam Racing. It's been a while since he was participating in Jam Racing. We'll have to find also enough. Let's have a challenge! And there they go, busting down the line. Right now, it looks like Charles Sung Watson has gained some ground. And right now, the four channel are approaching the first obstacle of the course, and that's the palm trees. And right now, they're gonna eat the fruit, 
and it looks like Thomas Lingrata will have control of the lead, following by Fred Harrison in second place. And right now, what would East Child be doing? It looks like they'll all be heading for the water, as the first superstar gets beat us on this race. It's going to be Charles Sun Watson, who's taking a shortcut. Gains a little ground, and now he's in the lead thanks to that shortcut. Can any of the competitors make a comeback here? We'll find out soon enough. As Peebus number two, we may buy number one, and John Stevenson will score the rest, so he's better to drop down the place. Right now, number seven is in Dan Me here. But it's back to number one after taunting for a moment, and he's back in the race, still in fifth place ahead of number two. And right now, it is Charles Sun Watson, who has a huge lead over his opponents right now. We passed the one in mind as the next pre we may buy, number two, who's holding out number seven and eight in a hurry. Poor number seven and poor number eight are both getting left behind. One of them is really going to be a dummy here, and that's going to be the sign for the next speed bus. And it will be made by number seven, so he will leave number eight in the dust. Meanwhile, back up in front, Fred Harrison trying to defend second place over Thomas Linklater and John Stevenson. As number eight finally gets some help. Now catching up to numbers two and seven in a hurry. But now Charles Sung Watson is almost there. I think he should hold off the crowd for an easy victory. As the next three was we may buy, Fred Harrison still trying to hold off John and Thomas and Harry. I think he's going to retain second place. But our big winner is this young fellow right over here. Charles Sung Watson is the big winner of this race. As number two, expected to close out the first half of Speed Bus for the first half. And that leads us to halftime. Alright, well, we're now at halftime. This race is over. So, congratulations to Charles Sung Watson on an amazing victory. And we'll be right back with the second half of Opening Week after we find out about this message. Do not go away. And welcome back to Jowies in 2016. Before we begin the second half, we just want to thank our staff for having us decorate the new set for Jowies in 2016, and we are deeply grateful. Thank you, staff, for all your support. And now you know what to do, Paul. That's why, right, Brandon. It's time to start the second half of race number seven. It will feature Kenny Days, one half of the 2015 Tag Team Champion of the Days Brothers. Along with the Harlem Chain Master, Efron Kingsley, the return of Dallas, the Master Gamano, and Jeff Naris. Alright, so you think the first half was exciting? Wait till we see what the second half will have in store for you. Good luck to these four players on the quest for victory. Everyone's on the clock, and please start the race! Here we go. They're off and running. And it looks like Dallas, the Master Gamano, scored the best. That will give Kenny, Efron, and Jeff the opening edge. Right now, these three are going to shake the fruit. Bringing down that coconut shaped fruit. And right now, they're going to eat the fruit. And it looks like Kenny Days is dancing. And there goes Jeff Navis. He has command on the lead. With Efron Kingsley right on his tail in second place. And what will these two child be doing? It looks like they're both heading for the water. As the first superstar to get speed bus. On the second half of week one's opening week is number eight. He started off the first half, now he's starting off the second half as well. And oh, he went a little too far that time. And number seven is in dead me here. He needs to get a lot of help from the crowd. But it looks like speed is number two will be my number two. And he's going to move up to four plates. By now he is leading over number one. And look at this. Jeff Dallas and Efron Kingsley are battling for an elite. Which one will come on top? We'll find out sooner. Back to number eight. He gets his second speed bus out of the last three tries. And it looks like Kenny and Ace is going to rest. So he's going to be all alone in the last place behind the pack. And this time number eight goes for his consecutive. But he went a little too far that time. He drops down the last place. Meanwhile, Jeff Nevis continues to hold up Efron Kingsley in a hurry. Can Efron Kingsley make the pass? We'll find out soon enough. Next verse belongs to Candy Days and Dog goes number one, which means Candy Days will move up place and Dog goes number seven. Right now, he and number eight are both getting left behind. Which one of them will get the next command speed bus? 
It's number eight. That's the four speed bus on this race for number eight. And now he's leaving number seven in the dust. And it looks like Jeff Nellis and F1 Kingsley are going to best. Trying to get some attention here. And now they're off and running again. Which one will come on top of the whole stretch? We'll find out soon enough. And it's back to Kenny Nage. That's his second speed bus of the base. Go he sits in third place with the pack. And number seven and eight. And Dallas and Master Guano will go in best. Right now number seven and eight both really need some help. But who really got the next command speed bus? It's going to be made by Dallas and Master Guano. Oh, he went a little too far that time. And it looks like F.I. King is going to get the win. You can do the hard check, folks, because F.I. Kingsley is the winner. He beats out Jeff Nellis by a short distance. What a deal. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus of this race. It will be made by number eight, who is poor number seven in the dust. So everyone's doing the hard check. F.I. Kingsley is the winner of this race. And we are back with more. Not go away. The fun is just getting exciting. Okay, Paul. Who do we have next? Well, race number eight, we have new contender Alvin Heenan Jr., which is the son of the licensed to drive Alvin Heenan. And he's joined by Casey Bakersfield, plus the return of Joey Atkinson and Raymond Hill. So let's see who will be the winner of this race in this exciting opening week's action. It's best as well to these four players, including our new contender, everyone's on the clock, and let's rock this place! Alright, here we go. And it looks like Joey Agassi is going right, so he will be left behind in the crowd. Right now, Alan Ian Jr., Casey Bakersfield, and Raymond Hill are all battling for the lead as they approach the opening obstacle of the course, and as the palm trees will they bring down that coconut chip fruit, and there goes Raymond Hill busting down the line. He will have the lead to start things off as the first superstar against Beepus is number 7, who is in second place over the HL. And now he's battling with Raymond Hill for the lead. But I think Raymond Hill is, is pretty good about it, don't you think? Anyway, Joey Atkinson is getting left behind the crowd. And number 1 is going to mess as the next previous will be made by Casey Bakersfield, who is catching up with the others in a hurry. And right now it is Raymond Hill who has a commanding lead over the eight show in the curve moment. As we head back into Casey Bakersfield. Wow, he managed to gain some ground. I thought was falling off, but he managed to stay alive. And right now number one is getting left behind in the crowd. As we pass the one minute mark, the next people we made by Joey Atkinson, who's trying to catch up with Casey Bakersfield for second place. Or pack. And right now, Alvin here and Junior is trying to gain some ground. Numbers 1 and 2 are both getting left behind as Alvin here and Junior, the son of the license to drive, gets the next command speed bus. Going battling with four players behind number 7. And number and Alvin here and Junior is going to rest. So he is expected to drop down to last place. So he will have a lot of catching up to do at the snap. As the next speed bus will be made by number 8. Who's now catching up with number 7 in a battle for the lead over the 4 Sewer Chow. And back up front, it looks like Casey Bakersfield is going to make the pass for Raymond Hill. Can Raymond Hill get back the lead? We'll find out soon enough. And number 2 will get a turn now. Trying to leave out here in junior and number 1 in Dan Mead here. Right now, both of them really need some help. But the next people we made by Joey Atkinson. Because it's a third place on the back. And it looks like Casey Bakersfield and Raymond Hill are both battling for on the lead. Who's going to come on top? We're about to find out right now. As Joey Atkinson takes back-to-back -back speed bus, it looks like Casey Bakersfield is going to hold off Raymond Hill for the victory. So Casey Bakersfield got the victory this time around. He beats Raymond Hill by a short distance over the crowd as Alvin here Jr. Will close out the speed bus for the race. So, congratulations to Casey Bakersfield on a job well done. He's smiling today, but what about the rest of the season? We'll find out soon enough. Coming out, we have more exciting action for you, but first, have a look at this. Hi again, welcome back to Channel AC 2016. Still to come, we have an explosive main event that should fill our opening week's action. But right now, let's proceed to the next race, and Paul's going to tell us all about it. 
That's right, it will feature Howard Miller of the Miller Traders, Chris Schneider of the Go-Getters, Cody Gispo, and Nick Gimmick, who partnered with Jason Hill to win a 2014 tag team title. And yes, this will indeed be the first race to feature the Golden Chow as competing opponents. So let's see what happens here. Everyone's on the clock, and let's have a chow race! Alright, here they come, busting down the line with those four Golden Chow. It's usually Silver Chow, but now it's Golden Chow this time. And how I'm gonna pause this for more and try to get some attention here. Meanwhile, Chris Schneider, Goldie Kitzbubba, and Nick Gimmick are shaking the trees. Who will have command on the lead here? It looks like Cody Gizboa will have command on the lead, fighting with number 8 and number 7 for first place, as Howard Miller of the Miller Traders wins the opening toss. He's a devil child this time, and so is the part of Dave Miller, but that's coming up later on. Right now, it is number 2, who is way beyond the competition, and Nick Gimmick scoring the best. And number 2 is flying down the aisles, as Howard Miller opens this one up, we're back to back to be best, and there we go, it's flying down the aisle. But I think someone has took a shortcut. Yep, it's Chris Schneider of the Go Getters. He has a humongous lead thanks to that shortcut. As the next best team best we may buy, number seven, who is battling with Hal Miller for second place over the eight chow. By now, Nick Gimmick and Cody Gispo are battling for fifth place over the over the pack. By now. Nick Gimmick is winning the battle for fifth place. Trying to get some attention here. As Cody gets for we'll have the next command speed bus. Now winning the battle for fifth place. And right now number two is still way behind on the pack. But I don't think he'll get any speed bus every now and then. Next speed bus belongs to Nick Gimmick. Who's trying to catch him in a hurry. And back of my fun. Chris Schneider is approaching home stretch and he should have an easy victory or the pack right now. And Cody Gispo will get another turn now. Now he is in last place on the pack. Right now, Howard Miller trying to catch up with number seven, but he is a very fast child. I think he's going to wind him in third place, don't you think? As number one, one next command is Beamers. The go getter Chris Schneider takes home an easy victory. Good start by go getter Chris Schneider. As the next speed bus we may buy, Nick Gimmick. That's his second speed bus of the race. I think he's going to want him in fifth place on the pack. Yep, you want him in fifth place. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus of this race. Here we may buy Cody Gizmo, who's going to hold off number two for dear life. So, Chris Schneider of the Go-Getters got the victory. That was a good start. Good start indeed for Chris Schneider of the Go-Getters. And we'll be right back with, it, with the male fusionist, Charlie Pickles, after the break. Alright, Paul, it's going to be exciting. Tell us why. Race number 10 will feature the return of our, everyone's favorite superstar, the metal fusionist, Charlie Pickles. And they're very really excited to be back with us tonight, along with Alan Holmes, Amir Jackson, and OJ Upton, or OJ Upton. Yes, welcome back, Chalu. I know you're excited to be back with us, with the Chow Racing family. Best of luck to you for the 2016 season, and good luck to the rest of the superstars as well. Everyone is on the clock, so without further ado, please start the race. And it looks like Chalu, Allen, and OJ Upton are all going to rest. That means Amir Jackson will have the opening edge. Will it pay off? We'll find out soon enough. By now, he is going to shake the tree. He has command of the four child to come on. And there he goes, busting down the line. He should have an easy advantage over the four child. As the first superstar against people is the Metal Fusionist Chalu Pickles. Really excited to be back with us tonight. Right now it looks like OJ Upton and number seven are both getting left behind. As the next people we may buy, number one. And uh oh, someone has took a shortcut. It looks like Alan Holmes has took a shortcut. That would be very interesting. And OJ Upton has also took a shortcut from that ski. Right now in the current moment. 
these two shall be heading towards the check of bridges. As we head back into number one, who leads over the four zero Chow. Right now he's winning over Chow Pickles. That's back to back speed bus for number one in the current moment. As the next speed bus we made by number two, who's trying to hold on number eight for dear life. Right now it looks like Alan Holmes has the lead over the current moment. RJ Optus trying to catch up to him. Can he make the pass? We'll find out soon enough. Back to number two. That makes two in a row by two in a row for numbers one and number two. And Chai Pickles is pausing for a moment. Trying to get some attention here every now and then. Trying to get attention. As he gets a number turn. That's it. Second speed boats on the base. And back of my front. Alan Holmes trying to hold up RJ Upton for the lead. If he can hold up him throwing home stretch, we'll find out if he will get the win in just a moment. I think he's going to get the win this time, don't you think? And Shadow Pickles makes it two in the ball by three in the ball. But I think Alan Holmes is going to hold up RJ Upton for the victory. Yep, he's going to hold him up a short distance. Alan Holmes wins this one. Alan Holmes got his first win of the 2016 season. Great job. And number 8 will get the next command on speed bus. And he will pass number 7 for dear life. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus of this race. It will be made by number 7. Who holds out number 1 and 8 in a hurry. Well, Chahu didn't win this one, but it's always the best of the season. And our homes got the bid read this time. And we are back with the rematch of this past year's senior championship. After we find out about this message. Alright, welcome back. It's time to get a stream, my Paul. That's why right, we have a couple of rematches in this next segment. First, we have the rematch of this past year's senior championship, featuring senior champion, the Gunner Star Master Gary Dayton, the Steel Curtain Aaron Miller, Dave Miller of the Mirror Traders, and Ramon Shorte of the Look of the Irish. Good luck to these four players. Let's have a challenge! Alright, and there goes Gary Dayton, busting down the line. Last year he won the senior championship and became senior champion. This year he is a top contender to run for the world championship title. We'll find out at the end of the season if he will get that chance. Right now he is dancing to the beat. Maybe doing the Gundam Star Master, I think. And now he's off again. He's leaving the competition in the dust. And who will get the winning toss this time around? It's number 8. That's possibly the fourth time that number 8 has won the opening toss for the opening week's action here on Chow Racing 2016. And Ravon Marshall is going to win. So he's expected to drop down to last place, folks. As he will get speed bus number 2 of this race as he heads for the water. Right now it is Garrett Dayton easily holding off Aaron Miller to steal Curtin for the victory. I think he should get an easy victory, as the next previous we may buy, Dave Miller, who's trying to keep his balance, and he did. Right now, Raymond Washante trying to catch up to him. He's battling with number one for fifth place over the pack. We're approaching the one minute mark, and who will get the next command speed bus? It's going to be number seven who gets it, who really needs some help, but I think he's still in last place. Meanwhile, Garrett Dayton is pushing the wall, and he has a huge lead over the steel cuts in Aaron Miller. At the current moment, as the next speed bus will be by, Dave Miller on the Miller Trader. That's the second speed bus for the race. Curry sits in fifth place on the pack. By now, Aaron Miller will be a miracle to catch up to Garrett Dayton, the Gunner Star Master, but I think Garrett Dayton is going to hold on. As number one will get the next command speed bus. Curry battling with numbers 2 and 7 for a freeway battle for dear life. And back right front, Garrett Dayton is almost at the home stretch. I think he should hold off Aaron Miller in a hurry. As Steel Curtain gets the next command as Beavers, I think he's going to want him in second place. Garrett Dayton looks to wrap it all up for the Gundam Style fans, ladies and gentlemen. I think the fans are going to do the Gundam Style dance for the first time this season. As number A1, the next command as Beavers. You can tell you one point for Garrett Dayton as he approaches the finish line. Garrett Dayton is the winner, ending out Aaron Miller by a few yards. So everyone's doing the Gundam Star Dance today, 
At number two, we'll get the next command speed bus. At number seven, is getting all alone in last place. And he will have no help whatsoever. As number two is better to close this one out with back to back speed bus. So get a date to won this round, and we're almost ready for the main event. That's right, the main event will be a rematch of this past year's world championship. And that will happen right after the break. So don't touch that dial. Alright, Paul, it is time for our opening week's main event. And tell us what we have for our main event this week. Well, opening week week's main event will be a rematch of this past year's world championship. Featuring our world champion, Walter Bobo Quickson. Runner up Gary Coles, third place winner Antonio Bennett, and fourth place participant Steve Wigman, Iron's Fabulous Warrior. And this week's main event is presented by Wendy's. Wendy's is proud to continue its partnership as executive proud partner of Chow Racing. To find out how you can donate $1 towards Wendy's food and products, visit the official Chow Racing website and click on the Wendy's icon for more details. Alright, let's see what happens here. It's best to watch these four players on the quest for victory. Everyone is on the clock. And please start the race. Alright, we're on the way with week one's main event. Presented by our executive power partner, Wendy's. This is the second year in a row that Wendy's will be the executive power partner for Char Racing. Last year they donated $3.2 million thanks to your support. Now you can donate $1 and make it happen again. Let's see what happens here. And it looks like Antonio Bennett is dancing to the beat. And there goes Gary Coles. He has the lead to start things off. As the first superstar gets b works on our opening week's main event presented by Wendy's is number one. And someone's going to rest. And right now number seven is getting left behind the crowd. He is way behind in the competition right now. He's going to head for the water as Steve bus number two we made by Gary Coles. And look at that. He should have an easy advantage because Walter World Quickson is going to us. Right now it is number two who needs some serious help but it's number seven who gets the next command speed bus. Now battling over number eight for six place on the back. Right now Gary Coles has a commanding lead over Walter World Quickson and uh, Steve Weakman as the next speed bus we may buy number eight who's battling with number seven for six place. And poor number two is getting left behind as we pass the one minute mark. Poor number two really needs some speed bus. But who really got the next command speed bus? It's Walter Wall Quickson, our defending champion. Trying to make a comeback here. Gary Coles has the lead here. Can Walter Wall Quickson make a miracle comeback? We'll find out soon enough. And number eight will get another turn now. That's the second speed bus of the base. Curry battling with Steve Wingman at number seven four. Fifth place, and it looks like he's going to rest. And right now, Gary Coles has reached the top of the wall as he will get the next command speed bus, trying to wrap things up. He wind up as well up last year. Now he wants a second chance at the World Championship. We'll find out soon enough. As the next speed bus we made by Walter Moe Quickson. And I think, I think, yeah! Walter Moe Quickson has gotten the lead from Gary Coles. He's making a miracle comeback here, folks! As number 7 will have the next command speed bus, Walter Moore Quickson is week 1 superstar of the week! So he takes his best start towards his road to VP! He made a miracle comeback from, Walt, from Gary Coles! Great job! And number 7 will get the next command speed bus, and we have just enough time for one more speed bus of this race. It will be made by number 8. Who is number one in the dust? So, Walter Moore Quickson starts his world to repeat on a high note. That's right, and we'll be right back to wrap it all up after the break. Do not go away. So, a big congratulations to our defending champion, Walter Moore Quickson, for winning the opening week Superstar of the Week honors. We are deeply grateful. Well, that's it for our opening week here on Channel Racing 2016 here in New York City. A big thank you to all of our fans who attended us in the audience tonight, and we hope that the rest of the season will be exciting as well. Until then, this is Brandon Shining signing off. Keep on smiling, and so long, everybody! This is 
Paul the second one signing off. Join us again for more exciting action. You are Chat Racing 2016. See you next week.